Sicilian defense, open, Nadorf, poisoned pawn variation accepted, 10.e5. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. White's accurate end game play outshined black. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The c pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the d4 square. Nf3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on d4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on d4. When black eventually plays nf6, white is prevented from moving the piece to e5 by the opening of the light squared bishop on d6. d4 offers to trade the d-pawn for the c-pawn, giving up a center pawn for more active pieces. cx d4 provides black two key pawns while giving white only one. nx d4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. Nc3 defends the e4 pawn and starts to develop on the queen side. A6 prepares the queen side pawn advance b7 b5, and also prevents white from playing the bishop or knight to b5. Bg5 puts immediate threatens the knight on f6, white may castle queen side after developing the queen. E6 controls the important d5 and f5 squares and allows the dark squared bishop to develop to e7. f4 gains space in the center, controls the e5 square, and prepares to develop the queen to f3 behind the f pawn. Qb6 develops the queen, attacks the knight on d4 and unpins the knight of f6. Qd2 develops the queen and prepares queenside castling. QXB2 captures the B2 pawn and attacks the rook on a 1. RB1 attacks the queen and takes control of the half open B file. QA3 moves the attacked queen to the only square where it will not be captured. Attacking the knight with E5 frees up room in the middle. This kicks an opposing bishop. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. Recaptures. The knight is thus brought to safety. This is the only move that works. That pawn was free for the taking. This move puts the rook on a safer square. This wins time by threatening a knight and forcing it to move away. This is the only good move. This defends a knight that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only move that works. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen. That was a free pawn. This threatens to win a pawn. It is the last book move. The game was almost evenly matched, but white is now worse. It is incorrect. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This gains time by putting a queen in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. This misses an opportunity to move a queen to safety. It is an inaccuracy. Backs off. It is ideal. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is ideal. This blocks the check from an opposing queen. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This accomplishes this by posing a threat to a rook and compelling it to flee. This poses a material threat. It is ideal. A rook is then exposed to the risk of being captured. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to seize a helpless rook. It is incorrect. This causes material loss. It is incorrect. This is winning stuff. This poses a material threat. It is ideal. This kicks an opposing knight. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is best. That rook earns material if it is captured. That's good. This ignores a more effective technique to reclaim a piece. It is incorrect. Very precise. 
it is best. This wastes a chance to center a knight and give it more power over squares. It is incorrect. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it? This ignores an opportunity to block an attack on a vulnerable queen. It is a mistake. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This makes a check visible. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This is a missed chance to offer an equal exchange of goods. It is incorrect. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is ideal. This enables the adversary to seize the checking knight. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. This stops the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is a great move. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. The pawn is now adequately defended. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is best. This misses a chance to strengthen a weak pawn's defense. It is incorrect. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the start of the end game and white is equal. It is good. Recaptures. It is ideal. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. This threatens to win material. It is excellent. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. This prevents the opponent from being able to win material. It is good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. An opponent's passed pawn can't advance if a rook is positioned behind it. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. So, the attacked pawn is protected. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the knight off. That's good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This exposes a pawn attack. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. This protects a rook that was being attacked without any defense. It is ideal. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This evades the check from the rook. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. A wise decision. It is quite good. This steps away from the checking rook. This is the only good move. It is a great move. That is a logical response. It is quite good. The knight is now located at an outpost, a safe area inside the enemy's territory. That's good. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. 
It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This evades the check from the rook. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. It's all right. That's good. Very precise. It is best. This steps away from the checking rook. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This poses a checkmate threat. It is quite good. This is the only move that works. This stops the opponent from being able to play checkmate. It is a great move. This comes in several sections. It is ideal. This evades the check from the rook. This is the only good move. It is a great move. That pawn was available for free. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. The rook is now in a safe position. That's good. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is quite good. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This positions the rook behind an enemy past pawn, preventing it from pushing for promotion. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. It was a free pawn there. That's good. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is quite good. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. Thus, a forced checkmate is possible. It is a mistake. This captures a knight that checked the king. This is the only move that works. This took advantage of a mistake and white now has a winning advantage. It is a great move. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. White's accurate end game play outshined black.